So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in firewall and network protection. Click on it. Now once we're on this, we're going to click on allow and approve firewall. And then you want to click on change settings. Then you want to find Genshin Impact and then you want to untick it. But if you don't see Genshin Impact, you want to click on allow another app and then click on browse. Then you want to find where you have your Genshin Impact installed. So for me personally, it's on my C drive, program files, scroll down till I find Genshin Impact game. And then you want to select the Genshin Impact EXE file. It might be in a different location for you though. But once you find that, you want to click on add. And then you want to make sure that private has been unticked. And then click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in File Explorer. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to find where Genshin Impact is installed again. So for me, it's on my C drive, Program Files, Genshin Impact Game, Genshin Impact. Once you find it, you want to right click on it and then click on Properties. And then you want to click on Compatibility. And then you want to disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator. And then click on OK. Now for the third step, you want to head over to Search and type in Run. Then click on it. Then you want to type in temp and click on enter. Then you want to click on control A and then click on delete. These are all your temporary files. So click on do this for all current items and then click on continue. Now for the last step, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to expand display adapters. Then you want to find your graphics card. You want to right click on your graphics card and click on update driver. And then click on search responsibility for drivers. If the best driver has already been installed for your device, you want to go back and then click on browse my computer for drivers and then click on let me pick from a list. Then you want to try to install the second one, click on next and install that. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to reset the computer and then the problem should be fixed.